I've come to the famous Wentworth Golf Club to interview a sporting legend, cricketer Kevin Peterson. As a follower of cricket, I've long admired his dazzling talents while playing for England. Kevin has become a conservationist, campaigning in particular against the abuse of wild animals in the country of his birth, South Africa. Here we share a common passion. However, whereas Kevin has concentrated on rhino conservation, the focus of my efforts has been against those responsible for captive bred lion farming and canned hunting. You're not born in Africa, Africa's born in you. And it is so true, every time I go back to Africa, as soon as I get off the aeroplane, you could take me on an aeroplane, you could blindfold me, and I would always know the smell of Africa when I get off that aeroplane. And I think as an African kid, as a, as a, as a man of the soil, uh, or a boy of the soil, you appreciate what's in the country. You understand the significance that certain areas of Africa uh, resemble and what they stand for and how important they are. I cannot tell you how many people approach me now to speak to me about conservation and not about cricket. I mean, it's, it's amazing. The, 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 the change has been fabulous. So I think it is so much greater than any achievement that I had on a cricket field. I was lucky enough to do almost everything in the game of cricket, but being able to be a huge voice and a campaigner for a species, trying to keep a species alive, trying to um, bring that awareness to uh, everybody around the globe, to try and stop the illegal wildlife trade of, uh, of rhino horn. Through my cricketing prowess, probably, um, identified as a, as, a, as, a, as a sporting, a familiar, a sportsman, a familiar face within a lot of households. But I think being able to shift into a different world of conservation, a different world where people love animals, has been something that we are incredibly proud of, I'm incredibly proud of. The rhino is a keystone species. It is the, it's the, it's the top of the food chain. It's a browser and it just creates so many ecosystems around the way that it browses and the way that it grazes. And when you look at it from that perspective, if you take away that species, um, what is Africa without one of the big five? What is the world without one of the big five? And so that's why the rhino means so much to me. It's critically endangered. Uh, there's only 16, 17, 18,000 left uh, in the place where I have my home in Africa, there's only three and a half thousand left. So, I mean, in terms of um, national parks, they, the numbers are diminishing. There are private people who own their own private stocks, which uh, the numbers are what the numbers are, but it costs such a lot of money to look after them. I mean, you give away a rhino now. I found out the significance and the magnitude of how big the issue was in 2013 when I went on a rhino experience, a darting experience with a couple of good friends of mine in South Africa. Uh, I just finished with England and I went back to South Africa to go and play in a cricket game for these guys, a benefit cricket game, a charity cricket game. And at the end of that charity uh, experience was a trip to a couple of the guys' lodges and we went on a rhino microchipping experience where you chip the horn, and, um, you put it in there for tracking purposes, and if it is poached, you can then track the, um, the, the horn back to where the culprit is. Well, you, you just see them with their trophy photo, and they're laughing next to this, or smiling next to this majestic creature, this majestic animal, and it's, for me, it's an absolute no-go, a complete and utter no-go. I'm shooting these animals. Again, I'm not against hunting because people need to live. Some people need to have the meat to, to feed their families. So that kind of stuff's okay. But canned hunting, uh, hunting critically endangered species, trophy hunting, I'm afraid I'm a no. I do not understand the end game, the end user, the 
person that pulls the trigger. I don't understand how you would want to take money out of your pocket and give it to somebody to shoot an animal that has been born and raised to be shot. I don't understand the 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 brain inside the head that says, hey, look at me on this photo that they put up on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. In terms of canned lion hunting, there must be farms, or I know I've seen your social media work where there is there are farms. So I mean that's quite easy to hopefully gain momentum in trying to get those closed. Uh, whereas I think our stuff in the wild, the wilds of, of Africa where, where animals are being poached, they're not on farms, they're not being bred to be killed. So I think it is different. Um, and so I, I actually think that can, the can line hunting train is something that can be stopped and should be stopped. You just have to have a look at what's happening in the canned lion hunting space to wild lions now. People are killing animals in the Kruger National Park at the moment. They are poisoning those animals. The vultures go down, they kill a whole load of vultures. The lions go down, the poison kills the lion. They start taking the paws and the heads off the lion, the teeth of the lion, and start selling those. So unfortunately, these horrible people are seeing so much financial gain from killing these animals that it's going to take a lot of amazing people to constantly keep banging that drum to save our animals.